Roofs come in a wide range of shapes, types, and styles, from flat roofs to gable roofs, and from dormers to roof tiles. When it comes to constructing roofs, you'll find a wide range of challenges. Who would have thought that creating two gable roofs that touch can sometimes be more complex than the 12-sided gazebo roof, or that there can be a big difference between how roofs with tile can be modeled in your Revit projects? You won't need to be a Revit expert to do these exercises, but a basic understanding of the Revit interface will likely help. Each of these exercises can be treated as a standalone module, and because of this, I describe each click so that you can watch these videos in any order. So if you have any questions on the basic and sometimes not so basic ways to model a Revit roof, this series is a good place to start. What we won't be covering is the modeling of trusses or structural framing under our roofs. Why? Because the structural framing is separate from just making the roofs work, and that's what we want to do in this course. Make good, functional Revit roofs. Good luck and I hope you enjoy the course.